In this video, I am going to show you how you can create an income and expense tracker that will track all your income and expenses that you do in a month and that will be calculated automatically. We are also going to use some functions like indirect and sum if to do the calculations. I have got a table here which has got date, income, expense. So we will be entering the income and expenses here. Category type like what, what is the source of income and what is the kind of expenses that we do. Amount and the description. In the description column you can enter the details related to the income or the expenses. I have got a master sheet here. In the master sheet we are going to enter the source of income and the kind of expenses that we do. So we are going to create a list of all the income source and the expenses. So first of all we will create all the source of income. I will enter the header as income. That is a list of all the income sources. Now we'll enter the list of expenses. We can keep adding more list to it. Once you are done with entering all the income and expenses, we'll select the data and we'll convert it into a table. So we'll press Ctrl key after selecting the data. My table has headers. We need to take this and click OK. So once the data is converted into the table, we'll give a name to this table. So I'll enter it as income. We'll repeat the same thing. Select the data, press Ctrl T. You need to click my table has headers and click OK. And we'll give a name to this table that is expense. So we have our master list ready. Now we'll see how we can fetch the data of income or the expenses using the indirect function. So suppose I enter income here. We'll use the formula or the function equal to indirect and we'll select this column. So when it is income, we'll get the list of or the source of incomes over here. Close the bracket and press enter. We'll get the list which has been entered in the income master list. If I change it to expense, it will give me the list of all the expenses that has been created in this master list. So that is how we are going to use the indirect function. So we are going to use this indirect function in the main sheet. I'll delete this data. We'll go back to the income expense sheet. Before start, before to start entering all the data in this table, we need, will create one more table over here which will have the income, expense, total and the balance. We'll also type the month 
which month we are creating or we are entering this data. Let's do some formatting in this table. We are going to get the total of income, total of expense and the balance based on the data which we are going to enter over here. In the income expense column, we are just going to enter income or the expense. To do that, we'll go to data. We'll go to data validation. We'll select list over here. And in the source, we'll just type income and expense. So we'll get the list of income over here expense you can select income or expense so based on the income or the expense we need to get the category type to get the category type which is there in the income or the expenses that we are going to do we'll select the cells We'll go to data, data validation. We'll select list from here. And in the source, we need to get the data from the master list, the indirect function which we used in the master sheet. So we are going to use the indirect function over here. We'll type equal to indirect. And the cell will be whatever we are going to select or enter in income and expense column. So we'll freeze the column, close the bracket and click OK. So once you select income over here, you will get the list of all the source of income which we created in the master list. So it can be salary or YouTube or freelancing, anything. So we'll type the amount here. In the description, we can enter anything that is related to the income. You can enter the description as per your need. When you select expense from this column, you will get the list of all the expenses that we created in the master list. So suppose I select home EMI. I'll enter the amount over here. I'll select one more income here. We'll do one more expense. This is how you can enter all the income and expenses whichever you do in the month. Now we need to get the total of all the income and total of all the expense in this cells and the balance over here. So to get the total in income, we'll use the formula of sum if. So we will type equal to sum if the range 
range will be the D column. Criteria. For criteria, we will select whether it is an income or expense. So we have the header as income. We will select income over here. Comma. Sum range. So for sum range, we are going to select the data from the column F. Close the bracket and press enter. We we'll need to change this as number because the while setting the date column, I had changed it to the date format. So we can you can also use enter the data over here for the date. So I can type like. We need to change the format. So I'll keep it as general. So that is the income which we have generated. So income we have got two cells, and if you look at the total, it is two lakhs and one lakh fifty thousand. So the total is three lakhs fifty thousand. Similarly, we'll do it for the expense. We'll again use this sum formula. The range again will be the column D, income and expenses. Criteria will enter as D2, that is the expense. And for the range, we'll select all the data from column F. Close the bracket and press enter. You'll get all the expenses that has been done in this month. So one. Two and three, so thirty thousand, four thousand, and twenty-five thousand. The total is fifty-nine thousand. To get the balance, we'll just subtract income minus expense, and you'll get the balance over here. So let's add one more income over here. Fifty thousand, and you'll see that the income has changed. The value of income has changed from three lakh fifty thousand to four lakhs, where we added fifty thousand in the income. If we add one more expense, one lakh, you'll see that the total of expense has also changed, and the balance has also. Changed. So that is how you can create an income expense tracker for your monthly budget, or whatever you use is, in a very simple and easy way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. I'll catch you in the next video.